free fall gentlemen with a 60 minute time limit. The official, the attending physician, Dr. John Pribble, the timekeeper, William Fazy, and the referee, Maury Friedman. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing 250 pounds, Killer Kowalski. And from Fairbanks, Alaska, his weight, 275 pounds, Yukon Erich. Good evening, everyone. Russ Davis, ringside in National Amphitheater in Chicago. Well, here you have the big guns of the business. Two of the biggest guys in the business, as a matter of fact. Killer Kowalski on your right. He's in the toga. Maury Friedman is the referee, and facing you is Yukon Eric. He of the missing left ear. That is a big piece of it is. And this is the guy that took it off of him up in Montreal. So, it's quite possible that Eric is going to be gunning for a piece of an ear tonight. Best two out of three falls, 60 minute time limit. He's a big one, he wrestles barefooted and in blue jeans. Hey now, Mr. Kowalski. What on earth is going on here? Watch it, Clink. What's the matter with our Mr. Kowalski? Hasn't somebody given him his prime ribs lately? Well, Mr. Friedman, uh, this is no place for you. Kowalski's still trying to figure out what happened here. There's a wrist lock. Doesn't seem like Mr. Kowalski's heart's in this for some reason or other. Headache, uh, Mr. Kowalski? It's not a chokehold.
Mr. Kowalski. Don't pull the hair ski. Things has got Kowalski a little bit confused here. These licks that Eric's giving him are real colossal ones. They just leave him a little dazed. Now he's flinching. He's expecting it now. You can't gonna get tired of this in a minute. Just what goes on here. Down. Not down. That wasn't me, that was Kowalski. He just can't handle the man. He's just so tremendous. Look at him flipping around there by his chin. trying to prove with that routine. Mr. Friedman, will you move around?
No need to say anything about this one, is there? Look out. You can hear all of this. What's the use of me saying anything? Look out. One, two, three. Well, there's that killer knee drop of Kowalski's. That's the one that Yukon lost his ear to up in Montreal, and it seems like he's lost the first fall to it. So we'll have to see what happens. The first ball with a knee drop and a body press to Kowalski. So there you have it, dear friends and gentle people. The first fall of a proposed two out of three between Killer Kowalski, the winner of the first fall, and the loser, Yukon Eric. Let's take time out for the boss. There are a good many things interesting about these boys, both of them. Yukon Eric has worked all of his life in the lumber camps until such time as he was brought down into this part of the country by promoter Fred Kohler, where he's risen to stardom in a relatively short time. The same was almost true of Kowalski. Both of them are timber camp workers. And both of them uh, have a de dogged determination all of the while to win. Perhaps it's just Yukon's terrific physique that generally bears him out, while this boy Kowalski is, is no smallie when it comes to that. Eric here is trying to pick himself up over, and here's Kowalski. He took several of those licks in the back of the neck from Yukon Eric, and uh, sitting here at ringside as we are, the guy's eyes would just glaze over like a fighter who'd taken a punch a little too close, but not quite on the button, you know? He'd just get all moony eyed for 15 or 20 seconds and then gradually come back. The recuperative powers that these boys have is terrific. Here we go. Guys came together like a pair of Jersey Bulls. Drag. Talk about DX. Boy, he got it. Yukon's not trusting him. Well, well. That's the advantage of wrestling in your bare feet. Well, Yukon doesn't like those <laughs> flying arm drags, and he doesn't take them.
Yukon's got his thumb in here. Sort of a version of this arm lock. Let go. Well, between Friedman and uh, Kowalski, they'll get the old boy dry pick. He just flang him. He's going to bust it off over the ropes. Now, doesn't that make it feel better? Hmm? Much? Now look here, Mr. Kowalski, cut it out. He'll give you that old five o'clock rush. Headlock. Watch it. Well, stand up, Mr. Kowalski. You wanted it. You're now getting it. Oh. Mr. Kowalski isn't thinking quite well tonight. He Kowalski so couldn't figure out what was happening to him there for a minute. So that's gratitude, says Yukon Eric, huh? Come on out. Interesting to watch these big ones go, isn't it? Huh? There's that waist lock. That old Yukon killer. Boy, the hair is just flying. These boys are a little mad. Did you hear his head hit the one, two, three? <laughs> Eight minutes and six seconds. 
second, the second ball with a backdrop to Eric. Well, there you had right straight from Dick Mastro. The match is tied up. One apiece for Killer Kowalski and Yukon Eric here in the International Amphitheater. What the boss has got to say, hmm? Mr. Kowalski, you uh, let's get things collected here. This one's an old meanie if he thinks he can get away with something. This guy just looks mad at times out of his eyes. He really does. It always moves like he was in a trance. But this old kid, he just Turns around once in a while, takes a look at him. Like a great Dane Wood at a bull feist. This boy Eric, to look at him, there's no way to tell how old he is. Many of you have written and asked. Many of you have written and asked his last name. I tried to get it out of him again tonight in the dressing room. He says, my name's Yukon Eric. But I think somewhere way down underneath it may be Erickson. I'm not sure. Going to keep calling him that until I smoke him out. That's a 10 second whistle. Here we go. I don't know what maneuver Eric was going to pull there. One, two, three. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's going to be a hassle. I think the referee counted the wrong guy. Four minutes and eight seconds. The winner with the backdrop of the fall and the match, Kowalski. Come on, kid, get on your running gear. Quit bragging, Mr. Kowalski, you'll get...
You heard that. I couldn't believe it. I don't know how many times Eric's going to have to wrestle this guy Friedman before he beats him. But uh, looks like to me he had to think one from Kowalski again. But that's the way the wrestling business goes. Gillard Kowalski winning over UConn Eric. We hope you've enjoyed the match. This is Russ Davis speaking to you from International Amphitheater in Chicago. This crowd's in an ugly mood. I think I'm going to go home and have uh, a nice quiet little sleep after this one. Goes Eric out through the crowd. Everybody's for him. Nobody's for Kowalski. <laughs> we'll see you.